क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो especially we will deal with configurations of operational amplifier now as far as configurations of operational amplifier is concerned these are major topics in your complete operational amplifier circuits and its applications so let's see the basics of operational amplifier that is nothing but configurations of operational amplifiers Now in the configurations of operational amplifiers there are three basic modes either you can say configurations of operational amplifier or else you can use the word modes of operational amplifier the first and very important mode that we will study is inverting configuration so whenever amplifier is used in inverting configuration that means we are using op amp ka mode as inverting configuration now what is khasiyat of this inverting configuration when should i say that this is inverting configuration inverting term indicates that i am applying inverting terminal ko input this is symbolic representation of operational amplifier and here second pin this is third pin and this is sixth output pin here i can say it's nothing but v1 here it is v2 second is your inverting terminal so if i am applying the input to inverting terminal that is vi with respect to ground and here i am not applying any kind of input to non inverting terminal then this is set to be your inverting configuration we will study that open loop and closed loop configuration later on but keep this in mind that whenever input is applied to second pin and third pin is grounded with resistor is equal to finite value or zero value as well no problem so this configuration whatever output i will be getting that will get amplified with the configuration inverting configuration now khasiyat of this inverting configuration is we will be getting this value vo is equal to vi multiplied by minus rf divided by r1 now what is r1 r1 is nothing but this and rf is if we provide the negative feedback through resistance rf and this feedback is again applied to inverting terminal not to non inverting terminal and that is why we are saying that this is negative feedback more than that in this i can say that your gain value av is equal to vo divided by vi is equal to minus rf upon r now this minus sign indicates that this minus sign indicates that there is 180 degree phase shift so if i am applying input in such a way that your half cycle is positive first so at the output side with amplified output we will be getting negative half cycle first and then we'll be getting positive half cycle that gives you 180 degree phase shift same as that of cs configuration in fet and ce configuration in your bjt second important and opposite to inverting configuration is non inverting configuration here you can guess that what the meaning of this non inverting configuration it means that if i am having this kind of circuit this is the symbol of operational amplifier inverting terminal non inverting terminal second pin third pin i am applying input to non inverting terminal that is vi and i'm keeping inverting terminal connected to ground through any resistor and more than that i am applying negative feedback as well so this completes your closed loop non inverting amplifier configuration where your value of vo is equal to 1 plus rf upon r1 here there is no negative sign so no negative sign indicates that input and output are in phase with each other
So this means that V i and V o are in phase with each other. Very simple configuration. I can say that if this is the input, small magnitude wala, first half cycle is positive. Then here, whatever output I will be getting, that will be first half cycle only, but amplified version. So this is your output and this is your input where both are in phase. The third configuration that we have to understand, this is nothing but the combined form of inverting and non-inverting configuration. This is differential configuration. Now in this case, I am applying input not only at inverting terminal or not only at non-inverting terminal, but here I am applying the input to both the terminals. And that is why we are naming this as differential configuration. If you remember, we have studied differential amplifier. In that case, we are applying two inputs and difference of that two inputs is amplified and get it to the output side. Same way we are applying input to both the terminal. Here we are saying this is V1, this is V2. Again feedback resistance is placed and whatever output I will be getting that will be in terms of this will be A into that is AD differential gain multiplied by difference between these two inputs. Now which one should come first? According to this negative sign, this should have negative sign and this should have positive sign. So we'll write it as V2 minus V1. This is your output of differential configuration. This is important in many of the circuit. Here also we are not getting any phase shift provided V2 is greater than V1. So magnitude of V2 and V1 decides phase shift. If I am saying that V2 is less than V1, then V2 minus V1 will become negative. And henceforth, we will be getting the value of VO, which is also negative, which shows that there is one 80 degree phase shift. So depends on the value of magnitude of V2 and V1, there will be phase shift of either 180 degree or zero degree. So these three configurations we have studied in this basics of operational amplifier. One is inverting configuration, another is non-inverting configuration, and third one is differential configuration. We will stop here for upcoming videos. We will learn more applications of operational amplifier and obviously based on these three configurations, we will form our complete applications of operational amplifier. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. I hope you like this video. If you like, then like, share and comment on this particular video and obviously subscribe this Ikeda channel. Thank you very much.